Uh, as we got into the uh, removing the upholstery, we found the original cloth insulation on the wire had disintegrated basically and, uh, and was no longer uh, safe to use. They, they had five wires butt connected together down below. They were all power wires, no protection in any of the circuits. So I added a, just a, a very small four circuit fuse panel, which is underneath the rear seat. You can access it from either the seat area or from underneath the car. It's not visible, but it added a, just a layer of protection in case anything ever happened, the fuse would blow instead of lighting a car up, something you wouldn't really enjoy. The driver's side of the car, the armrest, if you will, had a uh, very large on-off switch, which it didn't disconnect any of the lighting circuits, but it did disconnect all the batteries and electric motor in that end of the car. When we got that opened up, the, the wood was, was cracked. There was some charring in there. Oh, the old wire must have hit the... Look at that. Come around here, Bill, you can see it better. Oh yeah, nice. Probably at some point, looks like it could have caught fire. So we decided to remake the wood piece so that it was strong and it would hold up. Once we had the new interior in it, we didn't want to have to go back in. Just try to, we didn't want to just patch the wood and have something happen to it down the road. The on off switch, I insulated underneath, redid the cables, make sure that nothing was going to hit anything and cause any arcing or anything like that. So that was all taken care of. I made a full wiring schematic of every wire in the car before I started taking it apart because there's nothing to go by. There's no books to look at. If I ever want to go back, once I start going in and ripping in there and making a few changes here and there, if I ever want to go back and see where did this wire go originally, I can always look at my original drawings. Now it's all good.